What is happening people? It is Ryan Alzer with NeverSafe.com and welcome to today's video where we are actually releasing the $25 Dark Horse program. Now I know a lot of you out there have been waiting a very, very long time for this. Actually the original programming video, the free program video, came out in 2018. So it's been a good number of years. However, every single person who has ever run the thing has always come back and said how much they love it and I've been getting a ton and a ton of emails, people asking me when the $25 Dark Horse is going to be available, and now it officially is. By the way, if you do not feel like paying $25 for this ebook, then that is no big deal. You can just go to the description box down below, click the link to the original free program video, and I give you absolutely everything that you need to know to lay this thing out for yourself for absolutely free. Now, if you do feel like supporting the channel and you do feel like spending $25, then you will get a 62 page ebook where everything is laid out for you. You don't need to do any thinking, you don't need to make any decisions, and it is absolutely a terrific program. This is the number one way to support the channel. It does more than buying the t shirts, it does more than buying the submits, it does more than virtually anything. So if you are interested in a program or supporting the channel, then these are absolutely the way to go. So all that you need to do is go to neverstate.com forward slash merch, and there you will see a page full of all of my programs that are currently available for the $25 option. There's full descriptions to include what equipment that you would need to run each one of the programs. If you do click on it, if maybe Dark Horse does not sound like your thing, however, if it is and you do click on it, the second that you check out, it will arrive in your inbox because we upgraded the website, so now you can get the programs immediately. So, the Dark Horse program is 12 weeks long, which includes nine weeks of progression, one week of a deload, and then two weeks of testing. Now, it is a mix of conjugate plus rotating intensities, but you do not necessarily need bands or chains to run this. It will absolutely help if you do have them, and I'll explain all that as I go through what an average day looks like here. Um, however, it is not necessary. If you do not have bands or chains, you still can run this. And then you have the ability to, if later, you do receive some bands and chains in your life, then you can run this again and just test out the differences. But since this is a conjugate based program, you will see maximum effort sections as well as dynamic effort sessions all of the time throughout this program. Each day starts with a maximum effort section where you're going to be working a variation of the main lift. Now that variation is typically going to target some common weak point uh, in the movement pattern of whatever you're working that day, whether it be the deadlift, the bench, the squat, or the overhead press. This is a four day a week program. Now with this variation, you're either looking for a one, a three, or a five rep max and you're trying to go as heavy as possible hence the name maximum effort but once you have found that for the day you're going to drop back for the volume now the volume is going to be based off of how well your maximum effort work went so if you're having a bad day your volume work is not going to be quite as heavy if you're having a good day it is going to be heavier but it is kind of self-regulating in the fact that if you go in and your maximum effort doesn't go the way that you want it to you're not going to keep brutalizing yourself on the volume work it kind of goes hand in hand. But once your volume works complete, then it is time to move on to your dynamic effort section. Again, if you do have bands or chains and you know how to set them up for accommodating resistance, then I would highly, highly recommend that you use them on all dynamic effort sections of this program. I think that will help a lot to build your explosiveness and your stability and at the end of the day, you will see more results if you do use bands or chains than if you don't. However, if you don't have them, don't worry about it just stick to the percentages and stick to the basic principles that i lay out in the book to tell you of how to run your dynamic effort work also if you do need help setting up your bands then i have links in the description box down below to some of my other band videos where i show you how i personally set them up and kind of explain a little bit of accommodating resistance and things like that so if you need help just go down and click those but you can kind of look at the dynamic effort work almost like technique work. You're going to be doing a lot of sets of a low number of reps, trying to move the bar as fast and as perfectly as possible. You will be doing the traditional lifts in this section of the squat, the bench, the deadlift, and the overhead press. However, you will find that you are doing a different lift on that day than the main mover of the day. So if it is your deadlift day, you will find that you're doing squat dynamic work. If it is a bench day, you're doing overhead press. On your overhead press day, you will be doing bench dynamic work 
and on your deadlift day you will be doing squat dynamic effort work and the reason why is because you don't really want to do that technique work when you have already kind of pre-exhausted those exact muscles and then number two it's going to also add some more frequency because the more times that you can hit your bench press and the more times you can hit your squat during the week and still be able to keep up with the recovery then typically a lot of people will see a lot better results doing that so it offers you that as well as building speed explosiveness technique all of it it is a really really great and important section it is beginning to rain so i'm going to speed this up but after you are done your dynamic effort work then it is time for your assistance finisher which if you guys have watched channel for any amount of time you will know it's going to be like 10 to 15 minutes of really hard assistance work where you go back to the main mover for the day and just kind of crush it and be done with all of your assistance. So the entire workout is only supposed to last about 60 minutes, maybe an hour 15 tops. Uh, you get some maximum effort work, some dynamic effort work, some volume, as well as assistance in the form of a finisher. So it also kind of covers your conditioning. It is four times a week, 12 weeks long. If you guys are interested, you can pick up a copy at neverstate.com forward slash merch. Or if this does not sound like your thing and you want to check out some of the other programs there, please do that as well. Like I said, there are descriptions for each and this is the number one way to support the channel. So guys, I do thank you for absolutely everything that you guys do to help me, to help the channel, to just support me. I live this amazing life of my dreams and is 100% because of every single one of you and things like this, guys. So I just, I cannot say thank you enough. It means the world. So I will catch up with you guys later in the week. Until I do go out to something amazing, guys, keep working hard, people. Be nice to each other. Stay out of the rain.